Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and wanted to do a quick tutorial because I had a question uh, that popped up the other week when we did the webinar and I wanted to go a little bit more into detail on this. And basically, uh, this is a little Viking that uh, Chris drew and it's pretty awesome. But I wanted to show you this particular trick because the question came up. Um, I'm going to grab this helmet here and if I grab the helmet, I can basically put it on dude's head and if I zoom in here it's kind of cool but yeah there's the back of the helmet and everything but how do how do we actually do that uh, so and there are two different ways of doing this so what I wanted to show you uh, is how to do this in essentials or advanced as well as how to do this in premium and it has to do with well one has to do with uh, nudging and using your Z axis the other one actually has to do with the node view so obviously the premium is node view so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and turn off that little demo and I'll show you the essentials at first uh, let's go ahead down here so there is our helmet and if I go to my drawing view you can actually see this is just a nice little helmet there go back to camera view what I want to do is I'm going to grab uh, this layer here and just drag this straight to my library and that creates a symbol so if I right click edit the symbol what I'm going to do is grab my select tool and I think I have the back of the helmet separated so I'm going to cut that I have that pretty much as a group let's do command X let's make a new drawing layer I'll just call this back all right now I'll go ahead and paste command V and extend out that exposure and actually I've got 60 frames set up here I'll just make this 30 frames all right, so I'm going to move the back to the back. Now here's the trick. Um, I'm going to grab my transform tool, making sure my animate button isn't on. I have the back selected and I want to hold down my option key, alt on PC. And I want this to be pushed backward. So on my keyboard, uh, I'm going to use the up arrow or the arrow that's pointing away from me. I'm just going to press that once. All right, so now go back to the top view. And so here is the original drawing of the helmet. I can select all of those frames, grab my symbol, hold on my control key, let go. And this is doing a paste special and I want to make sure it pastes all the frames of that symbol. Click OK. And if you note, there's now this uh, little blue look that it has to it. All right. Looks like, looks like it shrunk a little bit there. Not sure why that happened, but let's go in here. Make that a little bit larger. Ah, make sure we move that above our little guy there. Yeah, make him a little bit larger again. So yeah, that's probably more uh, a me issue. All right, so there we have that simple little thing and we can do that in advanced essentials or in premium and that's basically using the uh, using symbols and using the z-axis and nudging things forward and backward so here's the deal with this other helmet for premium for our premium Viking here I need to go in Let's see. Oh, let's go into, because um, I actually have this in a group. So I'm going to go into the group. 
and the node library, there are, if I just type in art, go under filter, there's color art and there's line art. All right. So basically, let me go to drawing here. Um, the way this is set up, the way their premium is set up, we actually did the line art. This is the front of our little helmet. And if I go to the color art layer, you see the back of the helmet. Okay. So line arts on one layer, color arts on another layer. Now you don't have access to this in uh, advanced or um, essentials. So what I can do, I actually have this little guys here, line art and color art. In fact, just to show you from the beginning or what I'm going to end up doing, let's go to the node library. So I'm going to drag up here, line art, and I'll also drag up color art. All right, let's go back to our camera view. And for our helmet, what I'm going to do is going to hold on my option key and just drag this in. So it's going to snap into our little cables there. And what it basically did was it took the helmet and it's just showing the line art. And so that's in the front. So you see eyes, you see the head. And what I want to do now, I have color art. I'm going to pull out another line here to color art. And the color art, I want to pull this down. Um, not right here in front because, okay, yes, it's visible now, but uh, it's in front of the head. So what I'm going to do is take color art and move this down to. So here's the head and I place the color art or the back of the helmet behind it. So now that is how that works. I like that pivot better. So basically it has to do with separating the back of the helmet uh, from the front of the helmet. And whether you're an essentials, advanced or premium, there are ways of doing it. And this kind of comes in handy. It's kind of cool to play around with. So that's basically how you get that done. In other news, we are retiring one of our courses, and this is the anatomy of a 30 second short camper, the intergalactic bounty hunter. The reason we are retiring this is this was actually made with Harmony 12 and it covered how to do rigging in Harmony Essentials, uh, Harmony Advanced, as well as Harmony Premium, because we did simple parent child rigging as well as bone rigging. And we also did some curve deformers with each of the uh, different characters. I think, uh, yeah, the the plant was actually done with the curve deformer. So it showed a bunch of different tricks, uh, showed exactly how we went in and added uh, glow effects to Camper's arm and set up different things like that, um, even the way her eyes are set up um, and moving those around. But we are retiring this and we're going to be closing this out of our self eye store because even though it's still uh, you can still follow along, um, I did want to go ahead and move that out of our self eye store because it is two versions behind with respect to Harmony. And again, you can still follow it step by step. It still works, but we wanted to make sure uh, to just keep all of the up to date stuff in the store. So it's going to be available until Friday. And after that, we are going to be retiring this. So if you want to go ahead and grab that, time is almost up. Meanwhile, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one.